Hey, I'm Rob Fenler, and this is The Small Worlds of Walt. Well, Storybook Land was very special because it was done by the model shop at the Disney studio. And that was where really uh, so much of Disneyland began. And uh, it was people that Walt loved to go out and, and, uh, um, and discuss what he, was, what he was planning and different ideas with, and particularly people like uh, Harriet Burns and, and Fred Jerger and Waithel Rogers. And they, were, they were the original model shop. Um, that uh, started building the models for Disneyland and, and the Matterhorn a few, a few years later. Fred Jerger built the model that more than the architecture drawings uh, the Matterhorn was based on. And, uh, but uh, they were the ones that Walt could just you know, walk over from his office and sit down for 20 minutes and have a discussion about what they were doing or uh, and I remember some great pictures of showing Walt with Fred Jerger and Waithel while they were building uh, one of the buildings in in uh, Storybook Land and you talk about detail and my, my goodness um, if you think about people going past those buildings and villages in, uh, in, a, uh, in a boat canal boat uh, a lot of those details you could you can't really see in the amount of time you have but they're built into it because he really wanted the, those stories to be authentic and to tell the story of the, the characters that are depicted in the movies that those uh, buildings are based on and then Bill Evans came along and did all the planting uh, for a storybook land to, uh, so that um, the plants didn't overwhelm the buildings. They had to be done in a way that remained small and using plants that wouldn't grow a lot uh, so that they didn't become giants and the buildings stayed the same size. But I, I think uh, storybook land, as much as anything in Disneyland, shows that attention to detail. I mean, it's just full of um, magical detail that of that was done by uh, fabulous artists. I mean, I I had the privilege of working with all of them, and uh, you could rank Fred and Harriet and and Waithel right at the top of anybody who ever worked on the parks, and uh, I think. I think Walt did a really, I always felt that Walt Disney was the greatest casting director that I had ever uh, worked with or encountered and, and uh, picking out people like that and inspiring people like that to do their best work um, was uh, what he did so well. Hi, this is Rob Fenler for Small Worlds of Walt and thanks for stopping by. You can check out our Facebook page and uh, give us a few likes. Maybe one like, maybe two. I don't know if you can do that, but sure. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for stopping by and check out the progress um, that we're doing on the Storybook Land restoration. And uh, check out our Indiegogo fundraiser. Thank you.